let me, um, this is kind of an interesting story. We've talked, um, we've talked about uh, Brazil and Elon Musk, right? We've talked about the fact that Brazil shut down Twitter. Uh, they shut down Twitter because of what Twitter was, uh, you know, the statements being made, right-wing statements, the use of Twitter supposedly to try to overturn the election of Lula uh, and so on. And uh, when uh, basically Elon Musk refused to enforce Brazil's uh, silencing of certain people and certain views on Twitter, basically Brazil banned Twitter. I mean, that, 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 that is the uh, ultimate outcome of that. Uh, I, I, you know, I've noted this in the past. I wish Elon Musk was consistent. Um, he doesn't have any problem <coughs> um, limiting what is said on Twitter for other regimes, uh, the Chinese regime and, uh, and, um, and uh, other regimes in the past, like Turkey, before the election last time, asked Twitter to uh, restrict what certain people were saying, and Elon Musk went along. So it's not that Elon Musk is some free speech hero as he tries to present himself. Sadly, I wish he was. Uh, but certainly here he is. He's standing up to Brazilian authorities. Uh, uh, Twitter is shut down. Unfortunately, Elon Musk did cave on Starlink, so Starlink in Brazil does not carry Twitter either. Um, for a long time, there was criticism. Everybody on the right, everybody was saying, yeah, I mean, the White House supports Brazil. They support Lula. They, if they got into power, they will, they will shut down Twitter, just like, just like the Brazilians did. I mean, that's a standard line in... Um, in uh, Trump and uh, J.D. Vance's campaign uh, speeches. Well, it turns out that uh, late last week, the White House actually denounced the Brazilian regime for banning uh, access to, uh, to X. So I thought that was interesting. Um, so uh, they, they, this is a rare statement in support of Elon Musk. Even Elon Musk recognized that on Twitter and saying, yeah, you know, good. Oh, it's about time or something like that. So uh, Biden did say, no, this, this is bad. The, uh, they shouldn't be doing this. Unfortunately, uh, others did not. Uh, so uh, it turns out that there's been a, a, a letter circulating signed by some of the world's leading economists basically supporting Brazil in its conflict with Twitter and basically saying that they're in the right and uh, that they are just and uh, this is what other countries need to do. They need to have sovereignty over social media, which basically means censorship over social media. And we're talking about, you know, uh, now most of these guys are leftists, but still, uh, you know, uh, Zuckman and Varoufakis, if you remember Varoufakis, the Greek uh, economists, and we're talking about uh, Doktoro and Morozov and... Uh, Mazzucato, and of course, Thomas Piketty, and uh, other economists, well-known economists. I can't remember what, how many people, how many people signed this letter. But these are like all well-standing members in the American Economic Association, and, and uh, these are famous economists and all of that. And uh, here they are just coming out against free speech, basically allowing a government to censor an entire platform, and having no problem with that, shutting it down. Um, and to Tyler Cowan on uh, Marginal Revolution's credit, um, he actually put up a link with a translation uh, of the letter that these people wrote. Um, and um, one of the things he says is, somehow, no one's talking about this petition and its embrace of censorship. And indeed, no one is. Where are the free market economists putting out an equivalent document condemning all of this? Where's the mainstream media condemning these economists for standing by uh, uh, censorship? Ain't happening. Uh, nobody, nobody is standing up against this.